Hello mates, I am Kiran Zadhu here. In this session, I will teach you Spring Boot MongoDB sign up and sign in application. See, here we are using MongoDB as a database and MongoDB is a NoSQL database. It's a like JSON structure available key value pair. Then we'll start with our session here. First, we'll come up with the Chrome browser. Simply type Spring Initializer. Then, this is official web page start.spring.io. We are creating the project here. Project as a Maven, language Java, Spring Boot latest version 3.4.0. Project matter type means information about our project. Group it means package com dot full stack. Artifact it means our application name Spring Boot. MongoDB sign up sign in example. Now refactor the base package packaging jar. And Java version 17. Adding dependencies, we are adding dev tool for live load. Lumbok, it will help us to reduce boilerplate code. Spring Wave, itself inbuilt Tomcat server, and it will help us to create the REST APIs. And next dependency, we are adding here for MongoDB. Spring Data, MongoDB. Now simply click on generate. See, within minute, production ready, application will be available there. Now simply show in folder, you can copy the application and paste in particular folder. Simply right click here and go ahead with the extract. Now we will copy the path of our application and coming to IntelliJ idea and we will import our Spring Boot project in IntelliJ. Go to file new project from existing sources. We are giving the path of our application. Yeah. Now simply click on OK. Then this is Maven project. Trust project with new window. I want to open in another window. Then here, first coming to SRC main resources, and we are just adding here in application.properties. Database properties we are adding here. This is MongoDB application that's why we are adding here MongoDB properties and database name we have given here HRM then coming to form.xml file we are adding here Swagger UI dependency now we'll start the build of our application coming to Maven build and to Maven clean space install Meanwhile, we'll open the MongoDB here. And here we are creating the database. HRA. And the collection means table name. We are giving here employee. Simply create database. See, HRM database is created and the employee there is empty data sets available. Now, again, we'll come up with the IntelliJ idea. And we'll come up with the SRC main Java that is available com dot full stack. This is our base package. Now right click on that new package. The package name I'm giving here model package. Next package we are creating new package package name as service package. Next package we are creating the new package package name as repository package. And one more package we are creating the package name as controller package and within model package we are creating new java class this is employee now coming to repository in that we are creating new java interface interface name as employee or repository in service we are creating here new implementation class employee service impl now coming to controller in that we are creating new java class as employee controller Then we'll start with the development of our application. But before that, you can simply simply reload the project actually here. Now we'll start with the development of our application. Then coming to employee.java, annotate with here at the rate data. We are using here Lambo annotation. Next other constructor. Next nor constructor. Now we are using here document. Then here we are using at the rate ID coming from 
data annotation itself. Then this is where mentioning private int emp have id, private string emp have name, private you can say double emp have salary, private verify hash email and password that's why I'm passing here emp have email id and we are adding here emp password as well. Timing, I'm adding only those five fields, but in your case, you can try to add number of fields here. Now coming to employer repository, note it with add the rate repository. Then here we are going to extend. This is Mongo repository. Then here our project class name itself employee, in the wrapper class itself integer. Now we are going to add here custom methods. This is our custom method. Today we are going to add here. Here I am passing this is employee. You can say method name as find by emp have email id and emp password. Try to follow here solid principle method name like find by f is lowercase by b must be capital then emp email id and emp password. And then we are passing a string emp have email id string emp have password this is custom method we have created here and this is interface we declare here abstract method ending with semicolon now coming to employee service INPN annotate with that rate service then here we are using at rate auto yf this will be private employee repository now here first method we are going to write Above this will be employee and we are saying this is as a sign up. We are passing entity like employee itself. Then simply to return employee report dot save inbuilt method available there to save return to database. And here we are going to write one more method public. This will be type of boolean and you can set this to sign in. Then here we are passing string emp how email id string emp have password so now first we are trying to test data from a repo and then we are going to validate it that's why i'm passing here employee employee equal to employee repo dot find by email and password See. then here we are adding condition employee not equal to null and employee dot gate email id dot equals whatever email id we are giving from end user and again employee dot get password dot equals emp password then here we are adding one boolean type of flag by default flag value i am giving here false and once condition satisfied the mark flag as a true and then here we are just going to return flag itself Control A, Alt Control L. This is the shortcut key to format the code base. Now we're done with the service layer, and service is just intermediate between our repo and controller. Now we come up with the employee controller. Annotate with add REST controller, add request mapping. Here we are passing forward slash. This is the base URI as employees. If you want to add log, you can simply say slip for as well. Then here we are using add at all by it. This is private. You can simply say employee service IMPA. Yeah. The first API we are writing here for post mapping. This is API name we are giving here sign up. Public response entity type it will be employee and simply say this is for sign up. Then we are passing the request payload from Sagar Postman yeah, React screen. But here we'll consider this is the request body for our employee. Now simply to return, this will be response entity dot okay, employee service dot sign up as the employee as an input. Now coming to next, add the rate gate mapping. We are passing here and this is for sign in. 
we are passing this is emp how email id again this is emp how password then shift to public this will be response entity here we are giving the type it's boolean and this is for sign in then we are using here a path variable you will be able to use the request form as well because we are passing here input parameter that's why emp how email id and one more path variable we are passing here this will be type string emp how password now simply do return this will be response entity dot open employee service dot sign in this is email and this is password now we are ready to start our application here do control a alt control l it will format the code base then we will copy the main class main method simply right click and start the application now we are excited to test application by using swagger ui then we are setting here local host azure zero then give the forward slash here swagger happen dot html See, we are just waiting to see application up and running and it will go to work on which port number edge or edge or itself refresh this server ui it's up and running with port number edge or edge or simply refresh it see server also it's up and running now we'll try to test api for sign up i'm passing here id as 121 name i'm passing here swara and Salary I am passing here ninety seven thousand. Email ID we are passing here Swara at the rate fullstack dot com and this is the password we are passing here Swara at the rate two zero two five. Try to execute. See data inserted successfully. Next one more record I am add, adding here one twenty two. This record for Darshan and then we are giving this is email. This is password. And the Darshan salary I'm adding here ninety nine thousand. Try to execute. Same data we are expecting in database as well. See, in my local audit compass is open there. Then we are just going to reload it. Simply go ahead and reload the data. See, there is two records available, right? Sora and Darshan. Now we are trying to test next API. The next API itself sign in. Just try it out. Pass your email, Darshan at rate, fullstack dot com, and here I'm giving wrong password. It will give us the false. But if I am passing correct password at the two zero two five, right? Then it will return true. See, such a way we done with this session. But till if you are facing any difficulties, then feel free to add your comment in chat box. Yeah, thanks for watching this video, and please do like, share, subscribe the channel. Yeah, see you in next video.